When you're first learning about an image histogram, it may seem like a foreign language. But just let the information you're about to hear marinate, and the more you look at a histogram, hopefully, the more logical it will be, so you could use it to your advantage. Under the Window menu is Histogram, and virtually every camera out there will show you a histogram of your images. What a histogram is, it's a graph of how the pixels are distributed in an image at each color intensity level. And that may still seem like French to you, but let's take this image for example. I've named it by the key type. The key type means, is it a light image, is it a dark image, or does it have a lot of range of tones, which is the goal for many photographs. This is a high key image, and when I was first learning it, I remembered high key, high light. It's a lot of light in the image. If you look at the histogram, all the pixel data is piled on the right side, the light side. If I look at the low key image, there's a lot of shadows, a lot of darkness. I remembered low key, low light. The histogram shows me that that's the type of image it is. Most of the data is piled in the dark end. The shadows, I always say shadows are 75% or above. Highlights are 25% and below. And a mid-key image would have a lot of different tones. And the pixels are piled in the graph at certain spots. So it's got shadows. Here in the trees, there's shadow area. In the tree photograph, there's shadow, but also in the foreground, there's some darker tones and shadows under the leaves and in the grass. It's also showing a warning, a hazard. If I look at this sky portion, under the window menu is info. And I think the info panel and histogram panel go hand in hand. If I move to the lightest parts of the image, I tend to read the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black numbers but I have very little percentage there. If I saw all zeros, it would mean I had no pixels, no data, so I've lost all the highlight detail. For RGB, that would be all 255s, no pixels, no data. And in the darkest areas, you're gonna see lower numbers. But let's go back to the histogram. The histogram has several views. So if I go to the expanded view, I can see more detailed information, and let me just explain what these are telling you. So the mean is the average intensity value of this image at 111. If I look at the low key, it's 70, and the high key is 196. These numbers may not mean a lot, but the scale is from 0 to 255, RGB color levels, so not a scale of 0 to 100. The STD dev is standard deviation, and those of you who were fond of math like me probably know what that is already. But in this case, for the histogram, it's representing how widely the intensity values vary. So in the high key image, a lot of light, it's 37 for the standard deviation. For the low key, in this shot, it's 55. And for the mid key, it's 69. And that makes sense to me. The mid key has shadows here and here, highlights, and then everything in between, things that hover around 50%. So lights, darks, and all the in-between. So it should have the highest standard deviation. The median is the middle value in the range of intensity values. And these numbers won't show up unless you move over the histogram. The level measures the intensity level of the area underneath my mouse. So here, I'm reading a level of 50, here 156, here 231. So it's where you're reading on the histogram. The level corresponds with the count. The count is the total number of pixels corresponding to that level. So at a level of 44, there's 6,300 pixels in this spot. And this spot, I know to be a dark area. If I go to the light side, the color level is 222. 
all lights on or white would be 255 all the way at the end. But at this color value, if I hold still, there's 5800 pixels. But if I go to where it drops a bit at color level 196, there's only 1400 pixels. So there's a lot of pixel data in the darkest and the lightest spot, but there's still some peaks and valleys in between. The percentile is the percentage of all pixels in the image from 0%, which is a scale I'm most comfortable with, to 100%. So learning to read the histogram will be something that helps you over time because you can actually bring this up on your camera. And if you were trying to capture a high key image, a bedroom with white walls and white bedding and white curtains, you can look and see, did your camera in fact capture that? Or are more of the pixels piled in the middle, which means that your aperture setting may not be correct. You may not be letting in enough light to capture a light image. It's picking up a darker shot when your goal was a lighter shot. So you can look at the histogram on your camera and see if your lighting settings are correct and if you're capturing the intended image. The last thing I want to finish with on a histogram is the levels under Image, Adjustments, Levels also contains an overall histogram without the individual red, green, and blue shown here. I could choose them separately. And I could also do that in the histogram panel. But the overall RGB is showing me all the data is piled in the dark end, so it's a low key image. For the high key, image adjustments levels, all the data in the light end. And for the mid key, image adjustments levels, light end, some mid range, dark end. But here's where it really plays in in Photoshop. If I look at this same shot, this was captured raw off the camera with a sepia tone setting. And image adjustments levels. So we've got a mid range. It's actually a lot of the data is in the mid range. It could use some more shadows and the highlights are kind of flat. So a lot of times photographers will bring this in to brighten the whites and bring this in to darken the shadows. Let me hit cancel. If I look at the edited version, the correction was done, making the whites whiter and the blacks darker. But if I peek at image adjustments levels, I have lots of data loss. This was corrected too many times. I don't have a seamless row of pixels. Data has been permanently trashed in the highlight shadows and midtones that cannot be brought back unless you have the original. So that's why I tend to favor doing levels as an adjustment layer. So if I do bad things, it's never permanently harmed. If I didn't have the original shot here, this isn't going to have a wide tonal range. And I've got an image that's basically destroyed. It may look more contrasty and brighter to the layman. But when somebody takes a peek at the actual data or the actual histogram, you'll notice there's a lot of dropouts in the image. So let this information about histogram marinate. For me, I tend to look at images overall, see the lights and the darks, and I tend to check out image adjustments levels to see if the person who gave me the image has already corrected it and gone too far. So this has been Reading Histogram, which you can locate under Window, Histogram, and you can view it in the default compact view to get an overall picture of how the pixels exist on a graph in the histogram panel.